Sabbath, you are n you are not going to. Do I need to move? Oh. No. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could be here and I appreciate your time. So I just wanted to quickly um, give my, I guess, quick commentary on the whole Ari Lennox situation. Um, I'm waiting outside of the nail salon, so I'm waiting for them to get here as I need my nails done. So basically, my feelings after, you know, participating on social media, like looking at like the comments that people are seeing on the post that's being shared around Facebook, Instagram, um, I'm not on Twitter, so like when I watch videos on YouTube um, that show tweets from Twitter, that's when I see the things people are saying on Twitter. So I've been watching videos. I've watched Lovely T's video. I've watched Chrissy's video. Um, I've watched um, mm -mm 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 -mm, Leah Gordon's video. I might as well just give my commentary as well. So here's the basic thing, and it's exactly what Ari Lennox said, that black people hate black features. We have to really start defining what futurism is and what and what texturism is because colorism specifically only deals with the skin tone whereas futurism and texturism have to do with the phenotype and certain features that are common phenotypes to certain ethnicities and overall races um because i know some people are going to say race doesn't exist it's not a thing but race is basically just like a social a social construct that was designed to categorize people that share similar phenotypes so okay so a lot of times when we're talking about black features, a lot of people get real crazy and real silly. And act like, oh, there's no such thing as black features. They come in all shades and sizes. Blah, 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 blah. They'll even have some people who will bring up some freaking um, aboriginal tribe in New Guinea pawpaw that's dark skin with blonde hair. And they have like a loose texture. And they'll say, they'll bring them up to kind of justify that black can look like anything. When in reality, a lot of times, black people know exactly what the what the specifically black American phenotype looks like. We know what that looks like. We recognize it and we see it immediately, which is why, which is what Chrissy pointed out. I think Lovely T as well. When you, we see it on non-black people pretending to look black and using these signifiers um to look blacker or more ethnic we are easily able to identify them and call them out for uh black fishing or um appropriating a black face so why is it when it comes to other black people identifying blackness on other black people we get real crazy first of all ari lennox is a gorgeous black woman she is a visibly black woman and what i mean by that is her features are very identifiably black. Um, when you look at her, there's no sort of um, an uncertainty that she's black. You may not know whether she's from the islands or if she's a continental African, but she is definitely identifiably black at first glance. Her hair texture and the fact that she wears her hair natural. Um, she has dark brown skin. Um, she has black features and she has beautiful black features. But I think because black people, like I said, we have a problem with the black looking phenotype so the nose the eyes the lips um the size of the nose the size of the lips the cheekbones features that we will look at a person and say oh they're black and not oh what do you mix with we don't like those type of features and i feel like ari is being just attacked by people who are really hiding in their heart levels because there's levels of anti-blackness so featureism and texturism a lot of black people feel like they are not anti-black because um of very superficial reasons they believe that they have a healthy kind of view of themselves and that they appreciate their blackness or they're okay with their blackness when in reality they still harbor a lot of very um anti-black um featureism texturism colorism i like, they hold these ideas and they project them onto other people, themselves, and definitely their children. Um, how many times have we heard the good hair comments? How many times have we heard the pretty eyes comments? 
all of these things are based in featurism and texturism and colorism i'm not surprised i'm not shocked anymore when black women are just randomly attacked our looks are randomly attacked for no reason um anymore on social media on social media i've just learned to look at it for what it is very much in the same way that i learned how to stop internalizing other people's colorism issues um, and to stop seeing myself as ugly because someone else has a has a has a problem with being able to oh I'm gonna make up on my thing with being able to identify or appreciate my beauty, um, and I feel like that's just a move we're all gonna have to make because people are not gonna stop doing this. They're not gonna stop attacking us. They're not gonna stop treating us, you know, the way they treat us and gaslighting us. It's not gonna happen. And the sooner we realize that, and the sooner we get to the place where we are no longer bothered by, in particular, the comments from our own people. That's the best place we're going to be. And I totally agree when you have women on YouTube and on Facebook and on Twitter and Instagram saying that black women can no longer look for their affirmations from black men because time and time again, they've proven to us that they are not really about that life. Like, they don't want to protect us. They don't want to um, hold up a standard and um, kind of really affirm us in public. They don't want to do that. And um, I'm and first, before anyone says it, I'm not pro swirling or any of that. I am married to a black man. I'm just saying, logically, we need to go where we're loved. And logically, we need to stop expecting black men to have um, more, more of a protective view of us because they just clearly don't. And um, not just black men, other black women as well. Because you have black women who, like I said, have this, these very, very subtle, internalized, anti-black ideas about the way that they look. And you can see it in the way a lot of black women choose to wear their hair all the time. The, the context they stay wearing. I'm just saying, if, a, if, if most of the time you look nothing like yourself by choice, you may want to examine what's going on there those are basically my comments i don't have like a long video because it's everything that i could say has been said and people have been saying it for years i remember when i was um a blogger on tumblr years ago when i was like tumblr tumblr popular whatever i used to go back and forth with people on tumblr all the time about why i only posted certain um types of black women and people would say, oh, biracial women are black too. Ba 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 yada, yada, yada. And I will always say to them, well, while some biracial people may identify as black, but I highly doubt that they will if their phenotype is not a black phenotype. Because oftentimes your racial habit is, um, is very heavily dependent on how people receive you and perceive you and treat you. So if no one perceives you as black, then you're most likely not having the black experience in the United States, and you're most likely not going to identify with black, even if um, you acknowledge your black parent or your black family. Um, if you look like a racially ambiguous person or more of whatever you're mixed with, you are not going to identify with black, and that's just the reality. So... I used to talk about this years ago, and people used to tell me I'm being divisive. The same, basically, the same thing is they accuse Christy and many other women on YouTube who talk about this topic that you're being divisive because you are addressing and highlighting areas where, where black people are still very much largely anti black, and no one wants to talk about this, no one wants to deal with it, no one wants to address it, and it's just really pathetic. We have to do better um, as, a, as a community, um, as black Americans specifically, we have to do better. We have to really start examining why we do not like black features. Why when we see them on a woman in particular, they are um, too much. And they need, and, 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 and it's something wrong with how she looks when she probably looks like your daughter, your mom, your aunt, and possibly yourself. Um, so we just gotta do better. That's all I have to say. Thanks guys.